In this video, let's take a look at the rating component from Material UI. Ratings provide insight regarding others' opinions and can allow the user to submit a rating of their own. Let's understand the component and its usage with an example. Let's begin by creating a new file in the components folder. muirating.tsx Within the file, I'm going to create a new component. I'm going to import the stack component from Material UI and use it instead of the div tag. Let's also add spacing is equal to 2. Now for ratings, we need to import the rating component. Let's add the JSX. Within the stack component, invoke the rating component. Let us now include this component in app component and head to the browser. You can see the rating component being displayed. You can select a rating from 1 to 5. Let's head back to VS Code and track the value in a state variable. At the top, import useState from React. Within the component, create a state variable. Let's call it value, set value, and the initial value is null. The type though can either be a number or null. Now on the rating component, we add the value prop and assign the value state variable. Next, we handle the onChange event. On change, let's assign a function called handleChange. Let's define the handler. Const handleChange is equal to an arrow function. And this function receives two arguments. The first parameter is event, which we can ignore for the function body. This is going to be react.changeEvent. The second argument or the second parameter is the new value, which will be of type number or null. Within the function body, we call set value passing in the new value. So anytime you select one of the stars, new value would be a number which will update the state variable. If you select the same star rating, null will be passed and the rating will be cleared. Let's log value to the console and head back to the browser. Refresh and you can see initially value is null. If you select a value, we have three for three stars. Select five, we have five as the value. If you select the same value again, the rating is reset and null is logged in the console. All right, next, let's take a look at some useful props that can be specified on the rating component. The first one is precision. At the moment, we can select either one, two, three, four, or five. Back in VS Code, we can specify precision is equal to 0 0.5. Head back to the browser. And you can see, we can now select in multiples of 0.5. So we have 1.5, 2, 2.5, and so on. The next prop is size which can either be small, medium, or large, with medium being the default. Let's set size is equal to large. Save the file. And you can see the rating component is slightly larger now. The next two props are icon and empty icon, which help customize the rating icon. For example, at the top, I'm going to import two icons from Material UI. 
favorite icon and favorite border icon. Now on the rating component, we can specify icon is equal to favorite icon with font size equal to inherit and similarly empty icon is equal to the favorite border icon font size is equal to inherit. If we now head to the browser you can see the icon is now a favorite icon instead of star. We can slightly cheat here and add color is equal to error on the favorite icon and we get a red colored favorite icon. Ideally, this should be a different color from your palette and not error. The next prop is the read only prop which makes the rating component display only. So if we specify read only and set the initial value to three instead of null, head back to the browser, you can see the value is set to three and we cannot change it. The cursor is also the default cursor when you hover over the component. This is best suited when you have to display a product rating to the user. The final prop is the highlight selected only prop, which as the name indicates, highlights only one icon instead of all the icons leading up to that value. So if we remove the read only prop, add highlight selected only, head back to the browser, you can see only icon three is highlighted. Select five and icon five is highlighted. Now this prop is more suitable when you're collecting feedback using emojis. The first icon can be a frowning icon and the last icon can be a smiling icon. Selecting the smiling icon should not highlight all the icons that appear before it. As you can see, the rating component is pretty versatile. All right, thank you for watching. Please do make sure to subscribe to the channel and I'll see you in the next video.